Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Project Ozone 2 server with Apex Minecraft hosting. Project Ozone 2 Reloaded specifically is a quest based mod pack that gives you all kinds of different quests and challenges to make Minecraft a bit more difficult along the way as you go over all of these quests. It's got over 100 mods and it is easy to set up and use in a server environment. So because of this Apex Minecraft hosting makes it very very easy for you to set up your server with just a few clicks. So let's go ahead and get it set up. First things first, we are on apexminecrafthosting.com, just the general home page here, because from here, we can all be in the same place. If you're on the Apex Minecraft Hosting homepage, we can all start from there. So nevertheless, we want to click on the panel button up here in the top right. See that panel icon? Click on that, and that will take us off to here. Now, you may have to log in to Multicraft, and if you do, you can find that login information in the email that you got when you created your server. So nevertheless, once you've logged in, if you're on this page, go ahead and click on the Minecraft face here. However, you might already be on a server page that has like an IP address and all of that stuff. If that's the case, you can get to that if you have multiple servers by clicking on the server you want, but here we are now on that same page. First things first, you want to make sure your server is stopped, so go ahead and click the stop button right here. Now, if you're like me and have a mod pack installed on the server you're going to be installing this on, but like before you install it, you will need to uh, wait a second for that mod pack to stop. Mod packs do take a little longer than just vanilla Minecraft to stop, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut, and I'll see you once this server is stopped. There we go, it actually stopped without a jump cut. Now what we want to do is come down here to where it says jar files, and then we have infinity evolved. We want to click on that, and we want to search for Project Ozone, and right there it is, Project Ozone 2. Go ahead and click on that, and then it's going to say Load Project Ozone 2. This is going to wipe any other mods or anything you have on your server, so you want to make sure that you do have all of those backed up if you want to keep them, or if you don't care, like we don't, just go ahead and click Change Version. Same thing for the world. You can either reset your world or keep your world. Most likely, I would just reset the world here. Your old world will be saved as like a backup file. However, it, you can back that up yourself if you would like, but let's go ahead and reset the world here. And then there we go, Project Ozone 2 is now loaded. Click OK and click the green Save button down here at the bottom of the page. And it will go ahead and refresh this page to get Project Ozone installed. Like this logo right here will change and stuff like that. So let's go ahead, let that refresh, and I'll see you once it does. There we go, the page has now refreshed. As you can see, the FTB logo is gone and now it is just the Apex Minecraft hosting logo. We can come down here and it does say Project Ozone 2. We can go ahead and start the server to get Project Ozone 2 up and running. Now, we do need to download the launcher, the Twitch launcher specifically, to get Project Ozone 2 up and running so we can play it on our server. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we want to do is go to the description of this video and you will find this right here. This is the link to the Twitch download page where we can download the Twitch app or the Twitch launcher as I call it because all I use it for is Minecraft mods, but the Twitch app here. And once you're here, you want to download for Windows if you're on a Windows computer or Mac OS. If you're on Mac OS, we're on Windows, so we're going to click on the download for Windows button there. It will then open up this in the center of our screen on Mozilla Firefox. If you're on Google Chrome, it's going to be in the bottom left of your screen. Either way, you want to save the file on Mozilla Firefox or keep Keep the file in the bottom left on Google Chrome. Now we minimize our browser here on our desktop. We do have the Twitch setup that we just downloaded. If this isn't on your desktop, it's in your downloads folder, which you can find by clicking the little Windows icon in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon there. Click on that and in here type in downloads, right like so. Then we can go ahead and click on our downloads folder. Twitch setup will be in here. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we can go ahead and double click on Twitch setup, right like so, and it'll set up like any other app that you're used to. Right there it is. Now look how beautiful that is. It's an amazing installer. But we can go ahead and click install right here, that install button. And it will go ahead and set up and install and validate the files and everything it needs to do to launch up the Twitch app. Now you will need a Twitch account in order to use any of the Twitch based mod packs, any FTB mod packs, including Project Ozone here. So we want to go ahead and click continue. We're logging to your Twitch account. It's free to make a Twitch account, so if you need to do that, you can. But I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. Then it will take us to the main menu of the Twitch launcher here, where we can then click on this mods button right up here. See that mods button? Click on that. And then you'll have Minecraft over here, right? See Minecraft? Click on that and then click on install. It will then go through, install, do everything that it needs to do. And then you'll see no profiles currently installed. That's because we don't have any mod packs installed. So what we want to do is click on browse mod packs right here and then type in Ozone because we're installing Project Ozone. And as you can see, Project Ozone 2 re loaded there. Go ahead and click the purple install button and it will go ahead and download and install Project Ozone 2. This will take a 
take a while. It's got over 100 mods in it. It's going to take a while. So let's just go ahead and do a quick jump cut until it's done downloading all of these mods. There we go. Project Ozone 2 is now finished downloading. We can click the play button, that purple play button there, and it will go ahead and launch up the Minecraft launcher that we all know and love. Now this is the default Minecraft launcher here as it's downloading and setting itself up. So that means that you will be using the same login information that you use on Minecraft.net to change your skin or when you're going to play vanilla Minecraft. So let's go ahead and let this finish downloading here and I'll see you once it is opened. There we go, the launcher is now open as you can see. I've already got my email address in there, paste in my password and log on in. Again, it's the same information that you use in the default normal Minecraft launcher because that's what this is. Now once you're in here, you wanna click on these three lines up here in the top right and then click on launch options. Then you wanna find reloaded here, which means Project Ozone reloaded. Click on that and then we can go ahead and up the memory. Now for this mod pack, I would recommend at least six gigabytes of memory to run it and RAM dedicated the mod pack. You can try less, but with that, you should be able to run it without any problems. Some people have to even do eight with this mod pack, but we'll try six to start off here. Now, for our resolution, we need to change this. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. You don't have to change your resolution. I'm just doing it so we'll be able to see once we get in game. Let's go ahead and click save here. Now we want to come back over here to the news tab. Click the little green arrow next to the play button there. Select the reloaded profile. See that? Click on that and then click play. It will now open up Minecraft with Project Ozone 2 Reloaded installed. Now if you do get this error, unable to save download, go ahead and click close and then just click play again. It'll work this time. I don't know why it does that, but it's just something with the Minecraft launcher and installing mod packs the first time. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't, and if it doesn't, you just saw me fix it. So nevertheless, let's go ahead, let this finish downloading, and I'll meet you whenever it's opened up, and then um, I'll show you the opening process and show you what to look for and how to know if it's actually crashing versus not crashing on startup, and then we'll see you on the main menu. Now the Minecraft launcher has closed, but Project Ozone's nowhere to be seen, and there it is, it appears. So with that, it will kind of look like it's crashed or something's went wrong until it just opens up. And then once it's here, it's gonna sit here for a long time. I mean, it could take up to 10 minutes to open a mod pack for the first time here. So just let it basically do its thing. Now, one thing you will notice is you might suddenly get like this spinning, basically wheel, and uh, no worries, it's, it's going to happen. Sometimes I can glitch it out and make it happen, but basically when that's happening is it's just kind of figuring things out and it will always come back. If it does crash, you just need to add more RAM to Project Ozone 3, 2, and it will work perfectly fine. So I'll go ahead, let this start on up, and I will see you on the main menu to join the server and get to play in the game. And here we are on the main menu of Project Ozone 2, reloaded. Now, we wanna go ahead and click on multiplayer here, and then we need to come back to A Apex Minecraft hosting. See, this is the multi-craft panel. We've got Project Ozone 2 installed on it. We want to come right here and copy this IP address. See that? That IP address right there? Right click, copy it after you've highlighted it, and then come back into game. Then we can add the server. You can name this whatever. I'm just going to name it Apex Server. And then we can go ahead and paste the IP address here right next to server address. Then go ahead and click done, and then we'll be able to see that the server is in fact online, and we can double click on it to join right on in. Now, once you're in game here, it is going to lag for just a second as it's generating the world around you and everything like that. If you do have any consistent lag, just upgrade your memory, basically up your memory on Project Ozone 2, and you'll be good to go there. This is what I was talking about. If it goes not responding, if it turns even white screen like this, no worries, just let it lag itself out, and then you'll be good. Look at how beautiful that sky is. As you can see, quests complete here, and that's one of the biggest things about Project Ozone 2 is the fact that it has a quest book. So if we go here, we will be able to see here is the quest book in our inventory. We can right click on it and go through all of these quests, and there are a lot of them. You start with Alpha and go all the way down through New in you, go all the way through those, and uh, then you're complete. This will take tons and tons and tons of time, and basically it's going to walk you through everything. Now, your friends can help you out with these quests, and you can go through them all together, or you can be separate and you know complete quest individually. So it's kind of up to you and whatever you want to do. But if you want more information on getting started with Project Ozone 2 and things like that, just check out the description below this video. Thank you very much for watching.